For decades now, the hunt has been on to find other civilizations in the universe. And while we still know of only one place that definitely hosts life, our own planet Earth, we've gradually scanned more and more of the cosmos in the hope that one day we'll pick up signals of a different existence, a new world, and perhaps a far more advanced existence than our own while we're at it. Can you imagine a civilization that has mastered the art of galactic travel and possesses the knowledge of harnessing energy that humans can only dream of? A Type 3 civilization is merely a concept proposed by Nikolai Kardashev. But what if we told you that scientists may have found the ideal candidates to host a master race? Is our hunt to find other civilizations in the universe finally over, and have we discovered a Type 3 civilization at last? Let's find out. According to renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, humanity has reached a turning point where the next hundred years will determine the fate of its civilization. Will we survive and thrive? or will we perish? While we would want humanity to live on forever, the truth is we are a type zero civilization. And unless we are able to produce more energy through our planet's resources, there's no future for us. According to experts, as a civilization grows larger and becomes more advanced, its energy demands skyrocket due to its population growth and the increasing requirements of its machinery. The Kardashev scale was developed to measure a civilization's technological prowess based on how much usable energy it has at its disposal. Kardashev originally proposed Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3 civilizations, but the scale has been extended since to include Type 4 and Type 5 civilizations. Interestingly, the human race isn't on this scale at all, so our belief that we may be able to detect and communicate with more advanced civilizations is quite ironic. For us to claim the Type 1 designation, we need to harness all the energy available from a neighboring star and gather and store it to fulfill the energy demands of a growing population. In simpler words, we need to increase our current energy production over 100,000 times to reach that status. That would mean controlling all natural forces, including the weather, volcanoes, and even earthquakes. Considering how many lives are lost each year to earthquakes around the world, it's safe to say we are quite far from becoming a Type 1 civilization anytime soon. However, our limitations do not stop us from searching for intelligent life across the universe. And while we may have spotted several worthy candidates for a Type 3 civilization, this recent discovery might be our best bet yet. In August 2021, astronomers at the National Astronomical Observatories of China conducted a joint study with the Leiden Observatory in the Netherlands. The resulting headlines claimed that the scientists may have identified two candidates towards a Type 3 civilizations. The study focused on 21 galaxies and their mid-infrared emissions. Researchers were looking for traces of high emissions, which would point toward a Dyson Sphere operation in the region. A Dyson Sphere is a theoretical mega-engineering project that encircles a star with platforms orbiting in tight formation. It is considered the ultimate solution for a planet's living space and energy production. Dyson Spheres are a type of techno-signature, a sign of activity that astronomers could use to detect the existence of intelligent life forms in the universe. And the way to do that is to look for infrared radiation, which is part and parcel of the Dyson Sphere's waste energy. Although the astronomers conducting the study detected infrared radiation from two galaxies, they aren't yet claiming to have discovered Type 3 civilizations. Their only claim is that they've narrowed their original search from 21 galaxies to two, the most likely candidates for Type 3 civilizations. So unless we have more markers than mid-infrared measurements, scientists cannot confirm or prove such a massive potential discovery. What's interesting, though, is that one of the co-authors of the 2021 study, Professor Michael Garrett of Leiden University, wasn't a believer in the existence of Type 3 civilizations until he saw these two galaxies. In fact, when he studied other Kardasev candidates back in 2015, he dismissed them all, saying that most of those candidates demonstrated natural properties, nothing that we would expect from a Type 3 civilization. Garrett was so disappointed in the results that he became convinced that Kardashev Type 3 civilizations are either very rare or do not exist in the local universe. However, 
the 2021 study changed his opinion. And now there is renewed hope that there may be Type 3 civilizations across the universe, and it's only time until we find them. But do we really understand what a Type 3 civilization looks like, and if we want to find them? Perhaps the better question would be, do we want them to find us? When Kardashev hypothesized the idea of a Type 3 civilization, he was quantifying the stages of evolution for a life form. The basic idea was that every civilization would pass through some kind of quantifiable stages as it evolved, and some of the steps may be reflected in how we would detect them. Hence, the Kardashev scale gave us a clear way to think about evolution in exo-civilizations. Now, this scale required a marker that would be universal and not based on social systems of ethics since they cannot be predicted in alien life forms. Hence, the scale was based on energy, a basic necessity for a civilization's growth and evolution. Kardashev considered all the energy sources that would be at the disposal of a civilization as it progressed and used them to create his scale. He divided them into three categories where a Type 1 civilization would be able to capture and use all the energy resources of its home planet. A Type 2 civilization would be capable of harnessing all the energy resources of its home star. It is at this point that Nobel Prize winning physicist Freeman Dyson imagined an advanced civilization constructing a massive sphere around their star, famously known as the Dyson Sphere. Finally, a Type 3 civilization would be able to use all the energy produced by all the stars in their home galaxy. Considering that a regular galaxy contains billions of stars, we are talking about an unimaginable amount of energy. One way of extracting and storing energy would be to build an immense Dyson Sphere around every star in their galaxy. However, that's just one exotic solution a Type 0 civilization like ourselves has come up with. There could be many methods that are inconceivable to us. A Type 3 would be a super civilization, godlike creatures that can perform miracles we cannot even imagine. And there's always a possibility that Type 3 civilizations do exist in the universe, and they are silently watching us evolve technologically, waiting until we become interesting enough for a conversation. Or maybe they haven't yet explored the Milky Way or thought of harnessing its energy. Can you imagine what would happen if a Type 3 civilization found humans? They might just encircle Earth with a Dyson Sphere. Hence, the question remains, do we want a Type 3 civilization to find us? The only way an affirmative response would make sense is if such a civilization helped humans master its own galaxy. But what if we became a Type 3 civilization on our own? Do you think that's even possible? For humans to progress to a Type 3 civilization would take hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, both biological and mechanical. And chances are, the inhabitants of this Type 3 civilization are incredibly different from the human race as we know it. We can expect cyborgs or cybernetic organism that is both biological and robotic to form a highly advanced society, a society where humans are downgraded to subspecies and considered inferior or disabled by their cybernetic counterparts. By this point, we would have colonized the entire galaxy, our robotic population quadrupling into the millions as they move from one star to another. And the distant planets we only view through telescopes would be encapsulated with Dyson spheres, creating a massive network that would carry energy back to the home planet. But for us to travel through space freely without being constrained by the laws of physics, particularly light speed travel, we would have to create a working warp drive or master wormhole teleportation. Of course, these are two ways we know of for bending space time with our Type 0 civilization knowledge. Who knows what other methods we might discover as we progress from Type 0 to 3 over the next hundreds of years. Kardashev didn't believe a civilization could progress past a Type 3, but some modern scientists disagree and think that a Type 4 and the 5th of May also exist. So, it's safe to say that the human race has a long way to go on the path of evolution. What are your ideas about the Kardashev scale? And do you think these recently discovered galaxies may host a Type 3 civilization? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell for more exciting space videos.